How lucky are we to be sitting up here with the licence holder of the ALEC bar and all the, all the outlets here on the grounds. Pep, we're here again with the Nutrient Classic. Yeah, back for another year. It's great to see uh, the Classic roll in. We sort of, one of our big events, probably nearly our biggest event each year now, uh, sort of, I think the first one could have been eight or nine years ago here and it's built incredibly since. One of the, the major draw cards that has come into the sale in the last four years is the Gelding Incentive Dash for Cash, sponsored by yourself, the ALEC, the bar. The, the Gelding sales has improved dramatically on the back of that with $5,000 cash down there for the Gelding Dash for Cash. It must make you, you know, very happy when you sit up on the hill and, and see that they're riding for that money. Yeah, um, I think Mark Witherden came to me probably four or five years ago and said, we want to do a gelding draft. Are you happy to sponsor? I said, more than happy. Uh, but, yeah, it, it, quite incredible the city we build out there. So if you look at it 12, month, you know, uh, 12 months ago to now, it's just what they've done with the hill area, the lighting, everything's just looking fantastic out there. Finals night is an amazing night to be a, be at ALEC, to sit on the hill, have some drinks, watch the, the finals, the atmosphere is just amazing. For anyone that wants to, you know, bring the family and be on the hill yet can still get a, get a nice cold beer and, and watch that, it's, uh, it's certainly something that, you know, is really, really welcoming to the Tamworth people. Yeah, a bit. I think there is more and more locals do come to it. Um, I, as you say, years ago, it didn't quite have the amenities and the facilities that we have now. We've got permanent toilets out there. There's a lot more amenities for people. The hills got bigger. As you say, you can buy beer if you really have to have one. I don't get a chance to have one on the night myself, which would be nice. But I know that the growth that the choose since it's gone to the two nights of the finals, it's made a massive difference. I think it went up very late some nights, and I think the people struggled with that. So spreading it over two nights uh, has made a difference. We're going to change the uh, the um, the questions a little here. We, we're going to go off track a bit. Racehorses, and it's something that I think we both both got a bit in common. There's a filly called She Will Rain that won the Golden Slipper, trained by Gary Portelli. A little birdie's told me that um, you're a part owner. Is, is that true? That is true. I, I, I'll tell you what isn't true. You have a far better idea of animals than I do. Um, I got very lucky. I bought a little share in, in She Will Rain, and um, I guess the rest is history. We got very, very lucky with that uh, little horse, but I have no idea of animals. No, I'm not a judge. I bought it off the internet. Um, I think it was Landmark 2016. And I went home and thought, it's not that hard to buy a horse. So I looked on the internet, bought a horse, and it won the Golden Slipper. I didn't even see it live. I, hadn't, I have no idea of animals. So if you're looking to buy a horse that'll come back and win the Classic in 2021, come up and have a dozen stubbies with Pep, and we'll put you on the right track and um, He'll, he'll teach you how to put your hand up and walk away with a horse. Yeah, well, look online, I'm, I'm great at uh, picking out animals. They don't all win, but we'll have a crack. Pep, how many beers would you sell over the, the eight days of the Nutrient Classic? You've got me there. Um, quite a few kegs, quite a few cartons, quite a few Canadian clubs and vodkas and plenty of water. As for the amount of beers, I'd have to go down and count them. I'd, I've never really sat there and counted them by single serves. We'll come back with that later in the week. We'll have a, we will have an answer. Also, what time do we can we start drinking on the premises? 10 a.m. Bar opens. Licence is allowed. 10 a.m. I don't encourage it, but certainly 10 a.m. You can get a drink here. Also, the biggest drinker at the Classic. No, we can't divulge. Look, I'm like a doctor. You know, you can't just disclose these things. Later in the week, we'll get that too. I think this could be the toughest question we've had all evening. Batter or bowler? Josh Hazelwood's got nothing on me. I take that as a bowler. Thanks, guys.